Let's start configuring the Colab environment so we can develop our basic ear training application. Before starting, if you're not familiar with Google Colab, if this is something very new to you, I recommend that you go to this playlist, Introduction to Google Colab for Research, especially just the three first tutorials, one overview, one that we talk about text cells and the one that we talk about code cells. The other can be quite useful for later if you keep using Google Colab, but for this tutorial especially, these three will get you going and understanding how to use Google Colab. So the first thing we need to do is to set up Google Colab Google Colab already comes with a lot of things installed, but some things are not installed. And this is the case, for example, of MuseScore. MuseScore is a notation app that you can use to create musical scores. And it is used by a Python library called Music21 to display musical scores. So it's not installed by default in Google Colab, so we need to install by ourselves. And this is what we're doing in this cell here. We're adding a repository of MuseScore, and we're updating, and then we're installing. Let's analyze this in more detail. So in this first line, we want to add this repository and we are calling this command add apt repository so i'm just creating one line here and getting help about this add app repository so add apt repository is a script which adds an external apt repository to either the etc apt sources.list or a file or removes an already existing repository then we're doing the apt update so apt is a command line package manager and provides commands for searching and managing as well as querying information about packages so this is basic linux basic ubuntu commands i will not go into detail here I'll just we can for example install with apt install and this is what we are doing here. Let's then run the cell and this will install MuseScore. So there's some instructions installing MuseScore. We run these commands which we are running here. I just included this yes here before so if it asks something like uh, do you, would you like to install yes or no and then it will automatically answer yes and we don't need to press any key a lot of um, information and is installing MuseScore. Another thing we will use and we need to install is Fluid Synth. So Fluid Synth is a real-time software synthesizer based on um, SoundFont 2 specifications and we are going to use it to convert a MIDI to a WAV file. So to install Fluid Synth, we need to use the same procedure like um, we use to install MuseScore. We don't need to add any repository. We will use the default repositories. But then we will have to copy this file, Fluid R3GM SoundFound2, to this in order to use it with Google Colab. So let's continue. Our system is now prepared and then we can move on to import libraries that we're going to use. So we are going to use Librosa, Music21, we're going to use Random, so we can randomly select some values and for our GUI we are going to use IPy widgets. Librosa is a Python package for music and audio analysis. It 
provide some interesting building blocks to create music information retrieval. In our case, we're just using one function from Librosa, if I'm not mistaken, that is to convert some MIDI notes, note names to MIDI numbers and things like that. Music 21 is the library that we will use the most. It is a toolkit for computed aid in musicology. That means that it's a set of tools for helping scholars and active listeners to answer questions about music. We will discuss the functions we use when we encounter them. Then we have also the IPy widgets. And they are also called Jupyter widgets, which are interactive browser controls for Jupyter notebooks. And then we can create some simple interactivity, get values from sliders, get values from drop, drop down menus and things like this. And we will use in our GUI. We also use um, IPython display. And IPython is displays a module and we can, for example, create an audio object. And this object is returned by an input cell or passed to a display function. And then we can have these nice audio controls being displayed in the front end. So it only works for notebooks. And random is a module that implements pseudo random number generators for various distributions. We can, for example, generate integers from a uniform distribution within a selected range and things like this. So we will talk more about these libraries when we start using them.